Karak, a cherished beverage in Qatar, has a special place in the heart of locals and expats alike. This special blend of tea, milk, sugar and sometimes added herbs like cardamom has become a cultural cornerstone in the Gulf region. The term Karak likely originates from the mispronunciation of the Hindi-Urdu Karak Chai, meaning strong tea. The British introduced tea culture to the Indian subcontinent using seeds stolen from China, then establishing the Indian tea industry in Assam around the mid-19th century. Tea quickly became ingrained in Indian culture, evolving into various regional tea traditions. Masala Chai, a spice tea made with milk, sugar and spices such as cardamom, cinnamon and ginger, emerged as one of the most popular tea preparations in India. There are arguments about who started using milk in tea first. It is believed that dairy may have been added to tea in Tibet as early as the 8th century. In Tibetan culture, tea was often consumed with salt and butter, a tradition that predates the British practice of adding milk and sugar to tea. Indians later began using evaporated milk instead of normal milk, which primarily became the most commonly used to make karak. This method of preserving milk was invented in the late 19th century for transatlantic voyages. The milk with 60% less water than regular milk is cooled and sterilized at high heat before being canned. Therefore, it contains more nutrients and calories than fresh milk per unit volume, making it a key component in Karak's creamy texture and rich flavor. The introduction of Karak to the Gulf was sparked by migrants from South Asia around the mid-20th century during the period of oil discovery in the region, who brought with them their cherished tea-drinking custom, laying the foundation for the evolution of masala chai into Karak chai. These migrants, predominantly from India and Pakistan, carried with them not just their labor, but also their culinary heritage, including the art of brewing a perfect cup of tea. This started a tea revolution, captivating the palates of both expatriates and locals. In Qatar, Karak is more like an unofficial national beverage. So the next time you enjoy a warm cup of Karak, remember, you're sipping on a tradition that stood the test of time. From bustling tea shops to cozy gathering, Karak isn't just a drink, it's a symbol of community and culture. It's a warm hug in a cup.